Okay, Ryan Stassen here with Accelerate Marketing. I'm giving you the partner LSA, local service ads, or otherwise known as Google Screen, partner update for March of 2021. We got some really interesting updates that you definitely want to pay attention to, especially if you're an attorney. Um, and if you guys need any help with getting approved on local service ads, getting more lead volume on local service ads, um, then let us know. We can help you. We've been doing this for uh, since the beginning of local service ads when it started about three years ago, and we've been an agency for over a decade. So um, here's some uh, some really interesting information. So they updated the contact us forms. That's the first general update. Uh, we can get you these links if you want to. Uh, just let us know and comment uh, below the video, and uh, we'll get that to you. I'm going to actually go in here to, to show this. This is, looks a little bit better. Here's a PDF. What I want you guys to see is you can see that there's some interesting things that they're doing here. So number one, uh, the background check, uh, BGC for short module will be accessible on the business verification tab until educated. Um, so basically this is where it's at. So in your um, background check uh, section of your, um, of your app, you can go in here and, and you can click on this button to, uh, go back in and, and see what's going on. So that will be accessible until, uh, until you've gotten a decision on your background check. Uh, the expiring soon update for COI um, for insurance and license, uh, the business verification dashboard will alert providers to recertification requirements by displaying expiring soon on the dashboard 30 days prior to the expiration. This is good, gives a little bit of heads up um, for these, the, uh, insurance and license, um, so that you can, so that you can get, uh, you can get those re updated. So you don't lose out on any leads. We keep these up to date for our clients. That's one of the things that we do. Um, and so that you don't have to worry about it and so that you don't miss a day of, uh, leads for your business, uh, rejection reasons, <clears throat> uh, for COI and license certificate of insurance and license displayed on business verification tab. So here's uh, a lot of the reasons for uh, the rejections. Um, this will be in the dashboard and we'll display the license and insurance rejection. Previously, we showed rejected or expired, but we'll now display all rejection reasons, um, business mismatch, insurance coverage, because this was, this was kind of a problem in the past because we didn't really know what was going on and why you know, these things got rejected. So at least we can fix these things faster. Um, auto populate the first professional from main business uh, license. So this is uh, in regards to the professional license module. So local service ads will now autofill the pro first professional under professionals, field workers, agents to match the name and details that were entered into the main license section. So this is a, a confusing part because it basically you had a, you filled out the background check for the, uh, for the professional, but then there was, you know, you had to also do the same. It, it was, it was unclear as to whether you had to do it twice. And this is making it much more clear because it's basically just auto populating, uh, when it's the, uh, the first professional, uh, from the main business license, which is, yeah. So this will alleviate confusion for providers. So they do not need to enter the license information twice. And it's clear that the business owner should be included in the professional field worker agent. Okay. So basically this just, this just eliminates the confusion about whether or not the business owner should be included in the professional field worker agent section there. They do need to be uh, added themselves as well. And it just automates that process. Um, some more detail on this. So you can see if you're, if, uh, if a user enters their primary license in the license module and their verification portal, Prior to clicking the field worker module, the system will automatically populate the first license name license over lot. So we said um, this should happen only for a vertical geo combos where the primary license requires an individual to be entered and there and there's a professional module with individual professional license. OK, here's the most important part here. General law, lawyer query opt in rollout. So starting in mid-April in a couple of weeks. LSA will be rolling out an additional product feature for lawyer verticals to search queries like lawyer near me, which are more generic. They're general consumer lawyer searches as opposed to very specific ones, which would be like immigration attorney near me or personal injury attorney near me. So this is very, very interesting. Now, this is the most important part, I think, here is that um, 
is that there is going to be, as you can see, in a practice area drop down on the immersive search page to encourage consumers to narrow down the specific type of lawyer needed. So if you're concerned, look, if you're crazy, if you don't go after this option, okay, in my opinion, um, because typically we find when Google launches a new program like they did with LSA, the the cost of each lead is very low in the beginning because it's just a supply and demand thing. Where that supply and demand, you know, it's basic economics. Where that supply and demand curve cross, that's where the price is determined. And if it's lower, if the, if the supply is high and the demand is low, that cross, the, those two cross very low uh, on the graph and the price is very low. And that's what happens in the beginning. So the early bird gets the worm on these type of opportunities. And this is one of the benefits that you have working with us because we have access to this data. We've already prepared all of our clients to know about this and to take advantage of this because we think it's going to be a huge opportunity. And even though it's a generic search phrase, we feel that the decreased cost, at least in the beginning, is going to far outweigh any risk of them getting an onslaught of generic queries uh, for their practice because it says very clearly the practice areas that they uh, that they work in on their LSA page and also there's going to be a drop down for people to uh, you know to choose now this in the beginning is going to be uh, available right here in your LSA uh, back office you're going to see that in this under the settings tab you can opt in right under where you can choose to receive message leads for general lawyer searches, which is kind of an interesting place to put it. I would think that they put it in, you know, in uh, above, you know, up above here where you can identify, you know, what uh, job types you want. But they're putting it right below in the settings section. So be on the lookout for that. Again, if you guys need any help rocking and rolling with your local service ads, we can help you. This is how we help our clients. We have extra access to evidence to get you approved um, that most other agencies, almost no other agencies have. We have access to the LSA API, which is basically all the data that's available. The data that you see is very, very limited and not very much. Um, we, have, we have connected to their API, so we can actually tell you what is correlated with the lead volume that you're seeing uh, for, for your particular LSA page. Everyone is very unique. And then also, um, you know, we do have um, strategies that will help you get more leads. We know what levers to pull, what service areas to target in order to get you more leads. So if you're looking more for more lead volume, we just took on a client recently and they were getting a trickle of leads. Now they're getting an onslaught of leads and we just, um, we implemented our strategies to, to make that happen. So if you want to get more leads, let us know and, um, we'll talk to you soon and leave any comments below. Thank you.